Staying on top of the latest trends in medical coding can seem like a never ending task, especially when it seems all of those rules and guidelines are constantly evolving. And that's why continuing education is more important now than ever. Let's be honest, in the world of medical billing and coding, absolutely nothing stands still. If nothing else, every single year we have tons of new and deleted and revised codes in ICD-10 and CPT and HCPCS and PCS, in addition to all of the changes in insurance policies and regulations. So if we're not constantly learning, we're falling behind. And falling behind leads to costly mistakes, lost revenue, problems with your employer and your quality checks. So a lot of different headaches can evolve from it. So why is continuing education so important? Well, first it keeps you up to date with all of those changes and things that are happening with code updates and payer updates. Second, it helps you avoid lost revenue or compliance issues. And third, if you're a certified coder, you need those continuing education credits to keep Keep your credential. Pretty much all certifications are going to require some kind of continuing education credits to make sure that you are staying up to date with all of those changes. Otherwise, your credentials aren't going to serve you very well, and it might deteriorate the overall value of those credentials if we have all these people who are certified, for example, as a CPC, but then all of the CPCs aren't staying up to date on compliance, they're, they're losing revenue for these practices or hospitals, like that's a big problem. And if you have like a specialty credential through the AAPC, you need to get specialty specific continuing education credits. And that's why I want to talk to you today about Decision Health's 2024 Advanced Specialty Coding Summits. Decision Health's 2024 Advanced Specialty Virtual Coding Summits are the can't miss events of the year. Choose your coding specialty. They have anesthesia, orthopedics, or pain management, and get that tailored advice to keep you up to date on the latest coding and billing advances. These virtual conferences are happening over three consecutive weeks, starting on November 5th and will bring together leading coding and billing experts who will make sure that you are up to date on coding and billing policies for your specialty practices, critical procedures. They're going to prepare you to address new payer policies that impact your most important procedures and call attention to potential compliance risks that can disrupt revenue. And the best part is that they have the convenience of a virtual format, which means that you can participate from anywhere in the world, which eliminates that need for expensive travel and accommodations. This allows you to focus solely on absorbing the wealth of information being presented, engaging with the interactive sessions, and networking with your peers and thought leaders. So whether you're looking to stay ahead of your industry developments, earn CEUs, or simply broaden your knowledge, this conference is the gateway to professional growth. Don't miss this opportunity to learn and connect with the best experts in the industry and take your expertise to the next level. And for two weeks, you can get a special discount. From September 19th to October 3rd, viewers of this channel can get a special discount. Save $50 at checkout by entering the code CONTEMPO, C-O-N-T-E-M-P-O. -E Register now at decisionhealth.com and secure your spot today. Now, while continuing education is important for certifications, we really need to make sure that we're not just using them to check off the box. Now, certainly some of us get busy sometimes and we're like, ah, I just need like two more CEUs so that I don't lose my credential. But we really wanna focus a lot on things that we know we're going to benefit us in the specialty we're working on or where we are in the stage of our career. But if you're interested in other areas, you might want to get some CEUs from there and see what kind of things and problems and stuff is going on in those specialty areas. Sometimes it does help make you a more well-rounded medical coder. So even for example, if you're coding surgeries, you do want to keep kind of an eye on what's going on with e &M. Now, what if you don't specialize? What if you are a brand new CPCA and you're like, I don't know, I want to just get a good job general knowledge of everything that's going on. I need to keep my CEUs. And you know what? I'm not working in the industry yet. So I'm looking to not break the bank. I don't have a big budget for CEUs and conferences. Well, there's a lot of budget friendly options out there for CEUs. In fact, I have a whole video where I talk about free and cheap CEU options. And I will link that below as well as put a little icon up here for you to check it out. But I would really look at your local chapters. When you become a member of the EAPC, you will automatically be assigned a local chapter based off of whatever chapter has the closest zip code proximity to you. But you don't only have to get your education from that local chapter. You can visit other chapters. So if someone's maybe having a boutique seminar and you want to go and visit that and they're like, oh yeah, anyone can attend who's an outside member for $20 or $10, you can go do that. 
There's a lot of other chapters that, because they just have a, a large chapter membership to begin with, they'll let other people on because they have a big Zoom platform, for example, and you can go and attend their virtual chapter meetings for free. Pay close attention though, because there are more chapters that are starting to charge a nominal fee for non-chapter members. So I'm assigned to a chapter in Pennsylvania, but let's say I'm traveling and I wanna visit one out in Orlando. And they're like, hey, if you're not an Orlando chapter member, you might have to pay like $5 to attend the event. And in the video that I have, I talk about other things like doing the AAPC magazine questionnaires, the webinars that you can look for for free. So check out that video if you need free or cheap. But depending on your learning style, you might need different things. You might be someone who's like, I know I'm not gonna get this done unless I block everything out and go to a full eight hour in-person event. Other people, they're like, nope, I got a crazy chaotic schedule. I am only gonna be going to whatever I can do on demand. And that really depends on your learning style. Some people like the big flashy national conferences. Other people like the regional conferences that are a little bit smaller, a little bit more relaxed, but still have a lot of the same speakers and a lot of the same hardcore education. So if you're someone who knows that if you sign up for something virtual, you'll get distracted and start working at other things or tune out or start watching TV, TV, you might need the in-person events. But if you're someone who's like, I need flexibility, I need to do this when and where I want, you might be more apt for those virtual events. There's a lot of on-demand opportunities right now. In fact, because we're in this kind of boom of a lot of people developing their own businesses, what a lot of companies do and a lot of consultants do is when they wanna get their name out there, they'll be like, hey, I have free CEU courses you can do on demand so that, you, that way you can get a taste and kind of a flavor for what their educational stuff styles are like, and that way you probably wanna buy more things from them. So there's a lot of different variety of stuff out there. It's a great way to feel if a instructor or a company is kind of a good fit for you to see if maybe they are someone who is more engaging and if they have more visuals or if they are something that's like more monotone and more boring. Sometimes people just have like an incredibly amazing wealth of knowledge, but have trouble presenting it in a way that people can kind of pay attention. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have some preferences of things that you're like, Victoria, this is the best continuing education that I've ever gotten in my entire life. I want to know about them. And I think everyone else probably wants to know about them too. So definitely drop them in the comments. And if you want to save some cash on those Decision Health virtual summits, don't forget to use code Contempo. You can save $50. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, just keep on coding on.